Very cool. Hey, hello everyone. I'm gonna wait for people to come in. Come on in, come and sit down and hang out with me for about 30 minutes. And uh, we're gonna have a really good time today. So I hope to see you here. It takes a few minutes to, um... hey, Marsha. Hi, I'm actually close to my computer today so I can see you and then Sam is helping me today. Thank Hello. you so much. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Manny. Sam is helping me today. Say hello. So I'm actually close to my computer today so I can see you. Francisco, hola. Oh, this is so awesome. Um, I'm doing something a little different today, so we're just waiting for people to come in. So how's the sound? Can you guys hear me speak? Is it loud enough so you guys can hear? How's the sound? It's pretty good. Awesome. Oh yeah. Yeah, today is is space day. Hey Jeff, thank you. It's good to see you. Yeah, you can I'm I'm not sure you probably can't see the screen behind me, behind my my actual live page. Oh, super super cool. It sounds really funny to me because it's echoey and it's because my hearing aid it picks up on Bluetooth. Hey Randy. Hey Rosie. Woohoo. Say hello to Sam. He is helping me with comments today. I am just going to do a lot of playing. We're going to have a different format today. Ah. Oh, wow, Michelle. That's a lot of stuff. I really hate it when when you have car issues. But I'm glad that people can fix things. So I'm going to do a little housekeeping. Um, this is a two-part series. This is a challenge. Um, I was issued the challenge by Heidi Breyer and Rick Sternbach. And pump up the volume. All right. So here we go. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. There. How's that? Oh. I wanted to, so let me, let me get through um, what the challenge is and then I'll tell you how I'm doing. Um, the challenge is, is I'm going to look at a piece of art, which was sent to me by Rick Sternbach. Um, it's, he's an illustrator and a designer, and this is called Good Evening Ganymede. And so I am working on an electronic piece to go along with that. So that's what I will be doing today. Yay, all right. And then two weeks ago, as you know, over a little over two weeks ago, I was not feeling so good. Saturday, July 4th, <clears throat> I was feeling kind of gross. I had a fever, which was a little disconcerting, but I just had a COVID test, so I knew I didn't have that. But the fever, fever went away on Sunday. So that was a little weird, but then down from my belly button on over to my right side, it started to hurt. So I was supposed to have a procedure on Monday for something entirely different. And the doctor told me to go to the ER, which we did. Hello, Katie. And so I went to the ER. They told me I wasn't leaving because they were suspecting a... Um, uh, rascally appendix was starting to have some issues and so <laughs> the next morning uh, at 6 30 in the morning I had my appendix taken out and so I came home Tuesday and I am feeling so much better I my head is clear uh, it's it's unbelievable to me to um, feel so much better. I am very grateful for that. Hello. Hey, Gary. So 
Now, this next thing is in, you must know that this is in composition. I am not 100% perfect on this right now because I am writing this piece. And I want to dedicate this piece to Rick Sternbach, and it's called Ganymede. Uh, I am so excited to, thank you for sharing, by the way. Um, I wanted to tell you that when you share and uh, comment, Facebook rewards that. And so a lot more people get to know who I am and who you are. And you also get a chance to be a producer when you do that. So you get a track from my vault. When you become an executive uh, producer, like you pay, um, you know, you donate or that kind of thing, you get a, an album or a signed photograph of me with that. Hey, Lisa, so good to see you. So I'm going to get started on this and I wish, I, I don't know if I've seen Rick come in, but um, Heidi and Rick, thank you for this idea. I know Heidi, you're really good at this. And so this is my take on it. And this is a, um, this is part one of two of things. So next, next week we're going to do a lot more with it. So here we go. Okay, I did something really silly, so we're going to try this again. <laughs> I'm doing all the sound today, sound guy is at work, so I've got to do this myself. So we're going to try this again. Thank you. 
I don't need that. Okay. That. Wow. Um. The cool thing about this is I'm looking at this piece the last week or so, and I had this little um, melody in my head. And so I've started working with it with reason. So I'm using reason to create this track. Hey, Scott. Hey, Raymond. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Uh, yeah, the, the, the piano will be turned up next time because what I will have, I will have the strings put in and then I'm going to put the piano on top of that. So I'm trying to find a really nice piano strings <clears throat> that is strong, but is really beautiful. So, um, wow. Thank you so much. Oh, it was too loud. Uh, yeah. Um, we're going to have to work on that. So, uh, next week, uh, next Thursday, I will make sure that sound guy is here. We'll have Sam working on the sound if he would be willing to do that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a one man show except for Sam. He's helped me with the comments. So I'm really, really grateful for that. Thank you, Katie, for letting me know. It's always good to know, but this piece is completely composed just by looking at this picture. And I really love the challenge and I'm still not finished with it. So next Thursday, I want to do more with it. And it's just one of those things where I love, love, love it. Um, yeah, I can do that. Uh, let me try it. Let me get to the uh, piano pad. <clears throat> All right. The felt piano is very soft, so I'm going to bring that up a little bit. So let's see here where the that is. All right. So I'm going to bring up the sound so you can hear it. Yeah, that looks good. There's no gain on that one. Excuse me for a minute, I'm going to take out my hearing aid because it's causing a lot of echo to me and I can't do that. All right, let's try it again.
Thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm not quite sure where that echo is coming from. I'm not sure. I will have to look into that. Thank you so much. Oh, I really appreciate you. <clears throat> hey, Tim. It's good to see you. Oh, thank you so much. This, this piece is basically about space, about Ganymede, and I named it Ganymede in honor of Rick Sternbach's piece of art. That he sent me. I'm so grateful for that. Um, so, some of you that are just coming in, I am working on a an electronic piece, and I am sorry I'm in very relaxed attire. I had surgery two weeks ago. I don't really want to wear anything tight. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I was issued a challenge, and this is going to be a two-part series. I know some of you have heard this, but those of you who have just started to join. You need to know that this is not the end of this. <laughs> I'm going to have the epic strings, which this is what it sounds like. I'm going to unmute it. I really I love that. And um, it's, it's basically uh, from, um, it's a, a, a rack a P, uh, sample from um, Spitfire Audio, and I really love it. It's really got the oomph that I need for the, the piece. So hopefully next week I'll have it mixed <clears throat> in a fashion where it's not going to overwhelm you guys when I play it. Hey, Jamie. Uh, I'm really glad you like it. I'm, I'm going to replay it. For those that are just joining, I'm going to go ahead and do it again because I think it really needs you guys really need to hear it for those of you that are coming in so here I go and um, not sure why that's so low all right so here we go
Oops. Sorry. There we go. Ah! I always forget I have to unmute everything. There we go. So what I wanted to tell you, Katie, is that I'm going to uh, tell you everybody again that I'm an electronic composer. And when I, I set out to compose this piece, I knew it had to be electronic music. And I strictly do not do only piano for this kind of thing. It has to be completely no sounds. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, OK. All right. There, OK. Anyway, so I am a, I'm a completely, I uh, love electronic music, so I compose that way. And that's my first love. That's uh, the first two albums I released, like uh, The Road Less Traveled and The Journey Remastered are electronic albums. And so I'm going back to my roots to do this piece. So there's not going to be just piano in it. There's going to be a lot of uh, uh, facets to it. So it's going to be uh, piano strings, strings, um, the, the, the zithret, the zither that you heard. And so this is the kind of thing that I love to do. And I love to collaborate other, with other uh, electronic musicians with this kind of thing. So I'm using new software that um, I just upgraded. And I'm using also for the first time Spitfire Audio, which is another amazing piece of software. So it works with Reason and it is so amazing. So with Trillium, <clears throat> I had both electronic and piano together. And then with um, fire and the rainstorm it was just piano because I wanted to see if I could do it by myself with just piano and I did it was an, an amazing piece so that is what I'm doing this this first week I'm just showing you how I construct the uh, electronic music and any suggestions are really awesome too I really love it when you guys when you tell me what you like, what you don't like, and I will take that in in the, into consideration. Oh yeah, Spitfire Audio, it's really good. They have, uh, Manny, they have something called Labs, and they have free downloads that you can use with Reason or Pro Tools or Logic Pro. <clears throat> or even Ableton, whatever you prefer to use. So. That is the show today, and I'm sorry, I did a lot of talking, but you guys had to know how I was doing, what I'm doing, what I'm going to do next week, and um, I also love topics and challenges, so if you issue me a challenge and a topic, you guys become a sponsor, and therefore I will send you a free track from my music vault. But thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, it's really, really, really cool. So the song that I was working on is called Ganymede for those of you that just joined and uh, came in and you can go back and listen to the show because I will post it after I, we, um, uh, uh, Spitfire audio depends. Um, the lab section, L-A-B-S is free. You can download the, the samples for free. Uh, and then they do have things that cost money. And this particular, the Epic Strings was $29. And probably did not hear that. So it, it's, just, it's just another medium that I love to compose with. So yeah, I, I am really, really grateful that you all came. Thank you to Sam for helping me today. I really appreciate you, man. He is awesome. I really love it when he comes and helps me and tell him thank you. And uh, I'm going to go, but I hope you hope to see you next week for part two. So we're going to see how this, this uh, song progresses because it's going to be really cool. So you guys take care and thank you so much.